Neomycin sulfate is used to lower the risk of infection following certain intestinal surgeries. It belongs to a class of drugs called aminoglycoside antibiotics, which work by halting the growth of bacteria in the intestines. Additionally, neomycin may be prescribed alongside a special diet to treat a serious brain condition known as hepatic encephalopathy, which is caused by an excess of ammonia in the body due to liver disease. This medication helps to treat encephalopathy by eliminating certain intestinal bacteria that produce ammonia. It's important to note that neomycin only treats bacterial infections, not viral ones such as the common cold or flu. Taking antibiotics when they're unnecessary can lead to them being ineffective for future infections. When taking neomycin sulfate, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. If you're preparing for intestinal surgery, you may need to take it for three or four doses the day before. Make sure to also follow any diet restrictions provided by your doctor. For hepatic encephalopathy, you'll typically take this medication four times a day for five to six days. Your doctor will determine the right dosage based on your condition and how you respond to the treatment. To minimize the risk of side effects, it's important to take the lowest effective dose for the shortest time possible. The manufacturer recommends not taking this medication for more than two weeks during each treatment period. If you're taking neomycin sulfate for hepatic encephalopathy, try to take it at the same times each day to get the best results. And don't forget to let your doctor know if your condition doesn't improve or gets worse. Some common side effects of neomycin sulfate include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. If these symptoms persist or worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist. However, many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. If you do notice any serious side effects, such as difficulty walking, numbness slash tingling, muscle twitching, or weakness, or seizures, it's important to contact your doctor right away. While a severe allergic reaction to neomycin sulfate is rare, it's crucial to seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you experience any other effects, it's best to contact your doctor or pharmacist. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. Typically, neomycin sulfate is taken several times a day, with or without food. It's important to take it at the same times each day to maintain a consistent level in your body. Always take the medication exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Neomycin sulfate is a medication that can rarely cause serious kidney problems and nerve damage, leading to permanent hearing loss and balance issues. These serious side effects may occur even in people without kidney problems and taking usual doses. The risk is increased in older individuals, those with existing kidney disease, or severe dehydration. High doses and prolonged use of this medication also increase the risk. Your doctor may monitor your hearing, kidney function, and urine to reduce the risk of these side effects. It's important to avoid other medications that may increase the risk of these side effects when taken with neomycin. If you experience ringing or roaring sounds in the ears, hearing loss, dizziness, or a decrease in urine output, it's important to notify your doctor immediately. Severe muscle and breathing problems may also rarely occur. Before taking neomycin, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have. This medication can contain inactive ingredients that may cause allergic reactions. Be sure to inform your healthcare provider about your medical history, especially if you have any hearing problems, intestinal issues, kidney problems, myasthenia gravis, or Parkinson's disease. High doses or long-term use of neomycin can affect the absorption of certain foods, nutrients, and drugs. It's best to consult your doctor for more details. Neomycin may also impact the effectiveness of live bacterial vaccines, so be sure to let your healthcare professional know if you are using neomycin before getting any immunizations or vaccinations. If you are planning to have surgery, inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using. It's important to note that this medication is not recommended for use during pregnancy, although the risk for harm may not be the same with this drug compared to similar drugs. It's best to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. While it is unknown if this drug passes into breast milk, 
many doctors consider breastfeeding safe while using neomycin. As always, it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions with neomycin sulfate, as they can impact how your medications work and increase the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your healthcare professional. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. There are some medications that may affect the kidneys or hearing and increase the risk of kidney damage or hearing loss when taken with neomycin sulfate. These include amikacin, tobramycin, amphotericin B, citifover, cisplatin, polymyxin B, cephalosporins such as cephaloridine, and nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen, among others. It's important to discuss with your healthcare provider if you are taking any of these medications while using neomycin sulfate. If someone has taken too much neomycin sulfate and is experiencing severe symptoms such as fainting or difficulty breathing, it is crucial to call for emergency assistance immediately. In the United States, residents can contact their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can reach out to a provincial poison control center. It's important not to share neomycin sulfate with others. Your doctor may also recommend lab or medical tests, such as hearing tests or kidney function tests, while you are taking this medication. Be sure to keep all your medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you are using neomycin sulfate before a scheduled surgery to prevent infection and you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it is close to the time of your next dose, Continue with your regular dosing schedule and talk to your doctor or pharmacist for a new schedule. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. If you are using neomycin sulfate to treat hepatic encephalopathy and you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it is close to the time of your next dose, skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the regular time. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It is important to store neomycin sulfate at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Avoid storing it in the bathroom and keep it out of reach of children and pets. Do not flush the medication down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. When the product is expired or no longer needed, make sure to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.